Hey there and welcome. Today's practice is just about getting on your mat. It's just arriving and it's often the hardest part about a yoga practice, just starting, just getting there. So you know what? The hard part is over with, <laughs> we're here. So let's take a comfortable stance, feet about hip width apart, bringing your hands just by your side with the palms spinning in. And as you inhale, lift the shoulders to your ears. And with your exhale, just let the shoulders roll down the back, let them soften. You can close your eyes if you wish. Inhale, shoulders lifting up. And exhale, shoulders releasing down. This time with a sigh. Inhale, float them up. Open your mouth. Release them down. With your palms spinning in towards the thighs, use your inhale to lift the right arm up. And exhale, take that arm up and over for a standing side bend. And you can look up or down. Inhale up through the center and exhale to reach in the opposite direction. Let's repeat that. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale up through the middle and exhale up and over for that stretchy goodness. Let's take one more each side. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale up and exhaling. And then inhale, take both arms overhead and exhale, press your palms together. Let the hands slide down through the center. Release your hands by your side. I'm going to step to the top of the mat. You can join me. So taking the feet about hip width apart again. This time spinning the palms forward. So we're coming into Tadasana, mountain pose. So standing as tall and strong as a mountain. Set the shoulders onto the back. Feel the legs strong and stable. That core connection, the length, the crown of the head floating to the sky. And let's move through a few sun breaths. On your inhale, take your arms wide, out, up and overhead. You can look up if you'd like. And with your exhale, turn the palms away from you. Take the arms wide and hinge at your hips to fold forward. Fingertips meet the mat. Relax your neck and head. Inhale, bring your palms to your shins, lengthening along the spine, half lift. And exhale, return to your fold. You can bend your knees again, fingertips to the mat. And inhale, let the arms go wide out, up and overhead, maybe looking up. And exhale, bring your hands down through the center. Let's repeat that. Inhale, arms wide out up into the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, let the arms go wide, swan dive forward out over your legs, fingertips meet the mat, Uttanasana, relax the head. Inhale, palms can glide up to the shins, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale to fold again, softening the knees, Uttanasana. Inhale, let the arms go wide, out, up, and to the sky. And exhale, hands down through the middle. One more round. Inhale, circle the arms overhead. Maybe you want to turn your eyes up. Exhale, let the arms go wide. Find that fold out over your legs, bending your knees as much as you'd like. Relax the neck and head. Inhale, palms to the shins, elongate the spine, half lift. And with your exhale, this time I want you to bend your knees, plant your palms, and step it on back to downward facing dog. So we're stepping back into this upside down V shape. Hands about shoulder width apart, feet can be hip width apart, or a little wider if your hamstrings are feeling tight or cranky. And just giving yourself a little bit of juicy movement here. So I like to walk in place, bending one knee at a time and feeling one heel at a time sink towards the floor. 
Let go through the neck and the head. So a little nod. And maybe even some wah, movement through the face. Wah, release your jaw, lips and tongue. And starting to slow down the movement and finding some really nice stillness and steadiness here. Press your strong thighs back. Feel your heels melting towards the floor. And drawing in through the belly, core support and feeling the outer upper arms really hug in. Take a breath in, let it go with a sigh, and come on down to the knees. Child's pose, sit back, hips to heels. Let the arms extend forward out in front of you if that feels okay in your body. If not, you can certainly let the arms rest by your side. And if your forehead doesn't quite meet the mat, just stack your hands or your fists, resting your forehead there. Take a few soothing, calming breaths here in your child's pose. Enjoy the support that the ground offers you. And just notice the effects, the mental and physical benefits after just a few moments of yoga practice, just a few moments on your mat. Feel the breath flowing freely the mind a little more quiet, the body warm, strong, and open. Take a breath in and let that go. Come forward into hands and knees. Bring your wrists under your shoulders, your knees under your hips, spread through the fingers. And on your inhale, send your chest forward, lift the sitting bones up for cow. And with your exhale, push the ground away, bow the head and round, curling in for cat. Inhale, lifting and opening, cow pose. And exhale, pressing down and rounding for cat. Let's repeat. Inhale. And exhale. One more round of cat-cow. Inhale, lift your chest, lift the sitting bones. And exhale, draw in through the belly, middle of your back, rising to the sky. And just coming to a neutral spine and taking a seat, drawing the legs in for Sukhasana, or you can sit in any other comfortable seat that works well for you. And on your inhale, take your arms up and overhead, with your exhale, take a twist to the left, back of your hand to the thigh, fingertips pressing into the ground behind you. Inhale, back to center, lift up. And exhale, take your twist to the right. Let's repeat that. Inhaling up. Exhaling, twist. Inhale up. And exhale. Let's come back to center again. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, bring your hands down through the middle. And we'll come into Baddha Konasana, or cobbler's pose, drawing the soles of the feet together. And you can prop your hips up on a pillow or a blanket or a block if you wish. That may bring more ease and comfort into this position. You can draw the heels in if that feels good. Wrapping the hands around the toes, the ankles, or the shins. Use your inhale to sit tall, lift your chest. And then use your exhale to wave out over the legs. And you can bow your head. And you can relax your spine forward. And if it doesn't feel good to hold the feet, you can walk your hands away from you. Let your breath be long, slow, and deep. And enjoy these moments of peace. There's nothing else to do, nowhere else to be. So linger and enjoy. And then roll 
roll slowly out of the fold. Take the knees together, stretch the legs out in front of you, give them a little sway, a little wiggle, and there you go, 10 minutes. You got moving, you got breathing, and you can take all of that goodness into whatever comes next. I thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Namaste.